A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Poseida, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses among the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus. As it is written in the second Psalm, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I have set up my king on Sion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and all the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling Rejoice. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, one of the beautiful things about John is the, the, the people asking questions like Nicodemus and so on. They always ask how, 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 how. Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Um, it's beautiful. 
And Jesus doesn't give us the how. He's the how. <laughs> He's, contact with him is the way, the truth, and the life. So how do I get to heaven? How do I know the Father's tender love for me? That there is a God, that he's a creator, that there's no other God. How do I know any of that stuff? Through Jesus. Through Jesus. I cannot get to the Father. I can intuit, speculate that there's a God. But I know concretely that there is a Father because I have encountered the Son, the eternal Son. And because of that, he opens me up, so to speak, in his heart. And what comes up in my heart is this various images of God's, the, God's love, God's tender love, the Father. And here's what's so really, really cool about hearing this word at Mass. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's the how. I'm going to receive him in a few minutes. So what he says there one, a couple thousand years ago is actualized at this Mass. It's happening right now. This encounter with the Eternal Son now under the appearance of bread and wine. So I'm, we're, we're actualizing this. This text is becoming a historical, if you will, reality in our experience. It's existentially relevant. And he says, do not be troubled. Monsignor Jerry knows this word, do not be troubled. He took the Greek seriously and translated and said, not to worry. It's even on his plates, his license plates. So you're a very biblical priest, Monsignor. Absolutely, yes. So we're grateful for the presence of Jesus Christ and we'll keep Monsignor's rewording uh, translation of Jesus's, do not be troubled, do not let your hearts be troubled. For we are going to receive him who spoke these words in just a few moments. Now, how totally awesome is that? That is like, wow, a wow moment, a now moment. So let's go with peace in our heart and confidence as we will receive him and he will bring us to the Father as he makes present the Father. May Jesus Christ be praised.